Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters and here for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please check out our friends IndieWrestling.us for some really awesome indie wrestling digital download DVD purchases, um, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, uh, best of for Johnny Gar- Gar- Gargano, upcoming Gregory Iron, Finding Zach Gallon, the documentary, uh, Montreal Theory, and so much more. And of course, our friends SliceOnBroadway.com for supporting the shows. Um, but uh, this is, uh, uh, like I said, a couple minute thing for Mark. March uh, 31st, 2015. And uh, let me know your thoughts. So we got uh, NXT had their, uh, you know, the usual wave of NXT debuts, as in uh, people coming up to the Raw roster last night. And we've had these guys pop up a little bit. Um, the Lucha Dragons, which uh, Kalisto and uh, Sin Cara, and I know it's our kind of a re-debut of Sin Cara under this. And it's not that they haven't been on the main roster, but they haven't been on Raw. And I think it's not, it still doesn't count until you're on Raw. They've been on, say, episodes of Superstars. Um, I know they were on an episode of Superstars uh, here in Pittsburgh uh, when we when we were there, so we got to see that get taped. Um, but still, like this was this was the arrival, right? Not to really kind of set on the NXT line there, uh, but no, this was the arrival of these guys. Um, and I think with uh, very impressive and against against somebody like Cesaro, where they you know Cesaro can work with a little guy. Cesaro can do some fantastic things with a little guy out there. If you've seen some of his old Chicago work and stuff on the indies as a Claudio Castagnoli. Um, also really cool to sit there watching this match and seeing like two IWC guys like that go at it, you know, as in Cesaro. And IWC, I'm talking about the International Wrestling Cartel here in Pittsburgh. Uh, being alumni of that, IWCWrestling.com. Um, as a local fan, it's it's really, really cool to see something like that, you know, and see that momentum. Um, and actually, look at Super Indie 10 uh, from a few years ago. And the opening uh, round was actually Samurai Del Sol, now Callisto versus El Generico, who kind of resembles uh, Sami Zayn. Um, also, Neville. This, and this was a big contention last night um, because somebody had a really big uh, bug up their butt. I'm trying to be a little clean on this one. Sorry, and my my bushwhacker was was falling over. Um, about how like why why can't they? Why does everybody have to be dropped to a, a single name? And um, I don't know why people are so offended by this. We don't realize, hey, this isn't their real name. <laughs> uh, so Adrian Neville being dropped to Neville. Um, and while we worried that there was going to be this Mighty Mouse gimmick, at least he got to keep the cape. And it looked pretty cool. Um, and I hope he doesn't hurt himself trying to do backflips with the cape like he did uh, like he did last night. Um, but uh, still, it really cool to see that. I, I kind of still wish that we would see maybe a uh, Charlotte debut. Although she's all over the tap out commercial. So that's pretty cool cool to see um but i think she'll be fantastic when she comes up i think there's no room because they're actually doing some fantastic stuff with the girls they got and i think she'd kind of be lost in the shuffle if we did get charlotte all of a sudden um but uh let me know what you thought so we got the nxt uh debuts here who do you think should be coming up you know like i kind of think charlotte is ready and do um and a lot of people saying I, I saw tweets last night of like oh that that Divas match was pretty good but still Sasha Banks is awesome. Uh, <laughs> it is interesting to see what that fandom has been doing in NXT and seeing people rise up and seeing seeing that kind of thing happen. Um, I also love the lucha lucha chants have uh, have survived the transition and I think that's an easy one. That's an awesome one, you know. Um, but uh, with that, let me know what you thought. The NXT Uprising, the Raw After Mania. And, of course, we'll be talking so much tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com as we do every Tuesday. But this week, we're starting it off with our Indie Mayhem Show interview with Justin Plummer, the promoter of the International Wrestling Cartel, a new promoter. So we talked about him when he was a lowly video and on-screen guy. And uh, we'll see what, what this transition has done to him. Maybe he'll get that Obama uh, gray hair going on there i haven't seen him in a month so uh we'll see we'll see how that goes as he leads into his biggest show of the year next week um and of course hit us up everything else at mayhem show on twitter and uh wrestling mayhem show.com to subscribe to this the mayhem minute or other shows on youtube itunes Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and all over the place we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.